Gold Medal Products has been manufacturing quality snack equipment since 1931, such as popcorn machines, cotton candy machines, snow cone machines, hot dog machines, and all the supplies. Our 425,000 square foot building in Cincinnati, Ohio has the largest inventory in the world of these items. Our network of dealers worldwide are here to help you make the most profit you can make with any and all of Gold Medal's products. This video will show you just how easy it is to make cotton candy in your gold metal cotton candy machine. But before we get started, let's go through some basic safety precautions. Do not touch the spinning floss head. This machine is not to be used by miners. Do not pour water into the head of the cotton candy machine. Do not lift the cotton candy machine by the head. Please use the handles. And when you're transporting the cotton candy machine, make sure that the shipping brackets located next to the handles are locked in place. Do not try to clean the band of the cotton cane machine by scraping off the sugar. Just turn the machine on high and let it burn itself out. Should take about two minutes. Important, be sure to read and understand the operating manual for this piece of equipment. If you need an operating manual or have questions, please call us at 1-800-543-0862. The supplies you'll be using will include gold metal floss sugar, floss cones, floss bags, and or candy fluff containers. Now, let's get started. First, unscrew the lockdown screws or disengage the quick lock handle depending on your machine. Make sure that you place the sugar seal on the machine to keep sugar from getting down to the motor. Then, install the World Grip Floss Stabilizer on the floss pan, making sure you have adequate spacing between each clip. Six to eight inches is usually sufficient. Before starting, always make sure that the leather floaters are turned down in the direction the motor rotates. Next, put the double bubble on and pour sugar into the spinner head. When ready to start, turn motor switch on and then the heat switch. The heat control can be adjusted once the machine is running. There are operating tips located on the front of the machine also for your convenience. Remember to always use protective eyewear when operating a cotton candy machine. Once the machine is running, you want to let a nice amount of floss accumulate in the pan. When you are ready to start removing the floss, take your floss cone and insert it into the web of floss. Pull the cone and floss straight out of the machine and twirl the cone to get the floss into a nice full cone of cotton candy. To remove the floss from the cone, simply slide it off the cone into the container of your choice. Make sure you fill the container completely with as much floss as you possibly can. The most common ways of packaging cotton candy are with either candy fluff tubs or cotton candy bags. Bags are just as easy to use as the tubs and remember to really stuff the bags. When you're done making cotton candy, turn the heat switch off. Then after 45 seconds, turn the motor switch off. Cleanup is really easy. Simply remove the double bubble and pan, take them to a sink or a hose, and rinse them out. Cotton candy is only sugar, so it dissolves easily in water. When everything is clean, put it back on the machine so that you are ready for the next time. And if you are transporting the machine, please make sure to tighten down the lockdown screws. If you have any questions or concerns regarding your machine, we can be reached by phone, fax, or email. Thank you and enjoy your cotton candy machine.